YouTube world, welcome. Glad you're able to make it in today to check in with me. We're out here doing big things in the world. And this talk show is no different. We're doing big things, taking important topics and um, talking about them, discussing them, going in depth into these topics, trying to expound on them, trying to just gain a little bit more knowledge, trying to have stuff to do in the coming days, every day, all day, each day, as we sit wherever we're at right now, always looking for something to do, always wanting something to do, needing something to do, something that's a mixture of pleasure and meaning and importance, fun, um, interest, intrigue, and that's what we want to be doing. And uh, so, you know, um, sometimes we can't have all of those things and the stuff we do, but that's what we strive for. That's what I'm striving for. Everybody, you guys know me. My name is Gabriel Flores, a.k.a. Maybe Lee, in the mother freaking house. Um, so, yeah, today uh, we'll jump right in. Um, out of all the places I've lived, Illinois is a place that I think I'll move back to later in my life because I'm pursuing a rap career. It's kind of just random. Um, I was just thinking about, I wanted to review all the places that I was living for various reasons. Um, the main one being, you know, for my future, um, what is my future going to look like? Um, rather than dwelling on the past too much, you know, I kind of wanted to change it up and and although this is a big part of my past, I can still go ahead and make it a part of my future, which I really like the idea because um, it's so easy to just keep walking forward and forget about our past and make a new future. But in this case, you know, I want to incorporate my past into the future. And, to, and so that's kind of a cool thing, a unique thing to uh, to be able to do. And in this case, you know, I was looking at all the places I've been. I've been a lot of places. And based on my actions now and the career endeavors I'm pursuing, the most likely place I'll end back up is in Illinois because Illinois is a huge music uh, capital. It's a huge music capital. A lot of famous artists come out of Illinois, Chicago, Illinois, and make it big uh, in rap. R&B, hip hop, um, a lot of them come from uh, Chicago, Illinois. And, um, you know, I'm pursuing hip hop stuff. So, and I plan on pursuing it going forward into the future. So it, it only makes sense to, to move somewhere where you're going to have a better chance to do what you want to do. I'm sure out there too, there's more opportunity in the rap industry because there's more things to do other than just be a rapper in the rap industry you can be a an executive assistant in the record company you can um you could be an accountant in a record company a marketing person uh, so there's a lot of different jobs you can do in the in the rap industry and so going to a big place like that is going to open up the doors to the rap industry for me because I'm the type of person I want my my rap career to be uh, wide open um, I don't want to close doors for myself so uh, and that includes for me being a successful person in the rap world 
um, isn't just being a rapper. But right now, that's what I'm doing, just rapping. But that's because that's the first thing that I can do. That's what I know best. I always listen to rap. Um, it's all the tools I have in front of me uh, lead to that. So that's what I'm doing. But uh, I'm making it very clear that that's not the only thing I want to do or can do or be happy doing um, from something I'm, per I'm pursuing. But I could be happy doing anything, even if it's not related to the rap career, rap industry. Something that even if I just have to get a job close by here at a fast food place, I'm going to find a way to be happy. I can be happy there, too. Um, but for the rap thing, I'm not just pursuing solely being a rapper. I'm pursuing making it into the rap industry, somewhere in the rap industry. And that that's that's what my goal is. Um, there's, there's all kinds of stuff. Um, other than what I just mentioned. There's other, like if you're higher up there too in the rap world. There's those positions, but I'm more focused on things that are like uh, maybe a rap concert promoter or uh, somebody who makes the CD covers for these cats that are making CDs, being a rapper, doing the rapper, uh, making beats, instrument, uh, instrumentals, um, all of these things are options for me um, as far as I can see in in my mind they're viable options um, other things that I'm doing to solidify that because all of my actions for being a rapper is just based on my own stuff I'm not working for anybody or uh, employed by an individual or somebody I'm just doing all this on my own um, so, you know, I got to start in order to really make it there. You have to make, take solidified steps towards, towards it. And so, you know, some things I'm doing is right now I'm working on a professional portfolio and, you know, it's not my portfolio that I'm going to do is not going to just have rap stuff in there. I'm going to put pictures in there and stuff. So. Um, I think that's really a sign of the type of per, uh, job I would be looking at in the rap industry. Something that's more encompassing other than just the raps because I'm, I'm already doing it here now with this uh, professional portfolio I'm putting together. But to solidify that, a professional portfolio is a solid step in the direction of um, obtaining a position in the rap industry which is an artistic field so they're going to be looking for portfolios written works stuff like that and I'm going to have a professional portfolio so that's that's a solid step I think in, in that direction um, other things I'm doing you know I'm just really shaping myself to be the person I want to be going forward. Um, right now is like a milestone for me um, is in my life. So it's an opportunity for me to um, go in a certain direction, to um, change my trajectory, refine it, keep it the same, um, reassess it, all of those things I'm doing right now. Um, and so one of those things is being the type of person I want to be in the as a rapper the type of rapper that I'm going to be is going to be the person that I am in real life so I, I want to make sure and make sure that holds true because I don't want to be a person who uh, signs his life away to the devil where I have to make rap songs that don't include important aspects of a written work that totally omits a conclusion or totally omits sources and stuff like that I don't want to be that type of rapper and I see so many cats out here that's just like that and it's whack as fuck um and I don't I'm not going to be that type of rapper I'm not that type of rapper because right now I consider myself a rapper I consider myself a rapper I don't make the rapper money nobody knows me <laughs> 
and the sound of my stuff, you know, may not sound like what you hear on the radio, but it's my version, my interpretation of what rap is from my lessons, personal experiences and stuff. And that's the approach I'm taking to music as I go into the rap industry. That's not going to change. Um, I'm, I want to continue to, um, everything that I've started now, the things that I've been forced to do, you know, I may have wanted to do things other ways. I'm going to make sure and keep those things the same going into my rap career. And that's the type of rapper I, I want to be. I'm striving to be, and I'm working towards that. And that's what I'm doing now. So when I do get to Chicago, Illinois, and I'm presenting my professional portfolio, I know the person that I am. Uh, I'm not going to sign a contract that's going to totally obliterate the person that I am. And, you know, a little bit more on the type of rapper that I am. Um, is basically I want to just be the person that I am um, through and through. So, you know, if I'm a kind person to my mom, I'm going to be a kind person to X person, to X rapper. Um, so that's the level of truthfulness I'm seeking to attain in my rap career um, because I want to pursue a career. I want a career and I want something that's long term and that requires stepping into new atmospheres and I don't want to step through a door that an atmosphere that cracks my world in half and and boom. So that's the types of thoughts that I'm thinking of. You know, that's the type of truthfulness that I'm seeking to to attain as a rapper because I know I'm going to be put in scenarios where I'm maybe whining and dining with really uh, high class people and stuff like that. Uh, but you know, to keep true to my roots, you know, I see a steak on there or something or lobster or something. I don't know, just a random example. You know, I'm going to pick what I usually get or what I want. Now, if they offer me or if they say, no, you should just get lobster. This is like the good, best stuff ever. This lobster is from Maine. It's the best lobster you can get. Then I'd probably be like, all right, I guess I'll try it. <laughs> I'm not going to hesitate. I'll freaking try it way quick. Um, but I want to be a truthful person, a truthful rapper. I want a uh, rap to be an extension of my life, to be to be my life. Um, I don't want to talk about killing just to because it's a rap topic, but I want to include in there other things about killing. You know, I still want to keep the rap topics. You know, maybe in one of my raps I'm killing somebody, but in another rap, I don't know. I just don't want it just to be like about killing. I want it to include um, real life stuff um, as far as where I'm coming from because I don't come at, from anywhere close to killing. Um, I've never killed anybody. I never think about killing anybody. And, you know, I'm totally against war. I'm against violence. So, but killing is a rap topic, is a gangster rap topic. So it's something that I have to keep in there. Um, but, you know, you see rappers out there just going crazy, man. And and I hate to see people in the community that I have looked up to, that I learned from and stuff, going crazy and and really just setting a bad example. Uh, it's a professional career. You should see cats being professionals out there, really executing a good job. Like, good job. You know, you guys got good tools. You guys got a good sound. That ain't enough for me. <laughs> you better believe we'll go to war for that shit too, son. For reals. Um, and I, it, it gets me heated to see these cats out there, um, these rappers, just taking shit for granted. I don't care how much money you're making or what you think the scenario is. You got to be a professional. Um, and um, an example of cats just really not setting a good example. Um, they must think that their audience, me and 
is just stupid and, and finds it entertaining and cool to see um, people we look up to, movie stars, um, committing violent acts, being crazy, uh, acting a fool. I don't. Um, and it's sad because then you don't know who you can look up to. Who do I turn to as a leader in this world? Who is my leader? Who's my hero? I have to have somebody right now that's walking the earth with me that is a hero because I can't do this alone. Um, so, but TMZ, uh, M, uh, from the website m.tmz.com, TMZ wrote, uh, wrote quote-unquote, Takashi 69 is in the middle of a deadly game of tug of war tug of war between his NY crew and his record label team in Cali quote unquote and it sounds like um, they are causing a lot of trouble from what it sounds like he's just being a troublemaker millionaire rapper and it's really just not a good look for for the whole rap world. Um, and, you know, how do we get this cat to be more professional? Um, because it's not impressive to be a gangster, to be killing people, to be shooting people, which is what's happening with this feud that's going on with them. It's like the new um, East Coast, West Coast uh, war, like with Biggie and Tupac. Check it out on TMZ, guys. It's It got me heated reading it. I'm just pissed. But I, thanks for checking in. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.